Hey everybody, final thoughts time, but before I get to that, please remember this was a paid Kickstarter preview, so you should take my pains with a grain of salt. And with that out of the way, oh boy folks, this is great. Dollars to donuts. I was already predisposed to love it because I love donuts. I make no apologies for that. Oh, one of my favorite treats. Uh, in fact, in the town I live in, there's an amazing bakery. And while it's kind of been off limits for a while, uh, I cannot wait to get back down there and start uh, savor, you know, oh. And uh, this, this game, it just tempts me. Oh, uh, but anyway, um, it, it, you know, it, it, it's a really sharp design. And honestly, that should come as no surprise because it is from the same design group as last year's very big hit, Point Salad, which, uh, um, if you don't know, was a hugely popular, great gateway card drafting game, all about um, you know trying to do combo salad point generating uh, tableau stuff. It was very, very sharp. Everybody loved it. And these three designers have now switched from the healthy end of the spectrum to the exact opposite, uh, making a brilliant little tile layer that just does so much fun stuff. And I gotta say, the thing I like most about this is, and I, I play a lot of tiling games. Tiling is one of my favorite things in board gaming to do. And I love love the sloppiness of this. The fact that you are not required to stay within the bounds of your grid. And in fact, I mean, there's no way you will. There's no bonus points to be had for doing it. Uh, you know, no points for style. In this game, it is all about, um, you know, trying to wrestle these ridiculous tiles um, that are, you know, all really simple. There's no polyominoes here, but they are so complex in the fact that they've got all these different donuts on either side. And how are you going to actually blend them in? Uh, often by having half of them or even more than half of them go right off the side. So, I mean, you know, taking something like this, which could have been five donuts just to put it over here, just to get one plane. Well, that is, as the board gets tighter and tighter and more restrictive, you will do that. And, um, you know, spending all of these dollars, which could be slowly converted into points over the course of the game, just dumping them to be able to jump ahead and grab that really lucrative one that's perfect for what you need. Um, but knowing that you're throwing away a lot of potential points, I mean, that's just all excellent. Um, you know, and it goes above and beyond because it's not just about the donuts. It's a it's a set collection game, so we've got to get the donuts to appease the customers, but not just to get points off of them, but a whole set collection element with the different neighborhoods that are associated with the different customers. There is a surprise surprising amount going on in this game. And uh, the core game itself is just so clean and simple. Every turn, buy a tile, put it out there. As a bonus, place one of your money tiles out to fill in a hole, most often with donut holes. Just love the uh, thematic resonance there. And yeah, it just, it's, it's just delightful. Um, yeah, uh, I, I'm trying to think of, of, of something, you know, I could poke a hole, you know, some kind of issue with the design, but there's no, I don't, I'm not quite sure what I could possibly point out. The game gives you all this freedom. If you ever feel like you've got a noose around your neck, you know it's your own fault because you took chances and did not build uh, with what's coming in the future in mind. But you know what? I mean, even like in the game you saw me playing right now, I bankrupted myself. But even still, always being forced to take the leftmost tile because of the freedom this game gives you. I mean, there's a dozen different ways I could put this, including hanging them off the edge just to get that single brown that I need, um, which is either worth two points or translates to another customer, the game gives you, compared to most tile laying games, this game doesn't have rules like, oh, you must extend from existing stuff, or you must adhere to the grid, or um, like size things must be aligned with other like size things. It throws all of those rules that are so standard in tile layers away, and I love it for it. I love it that it just gives you the freedom to come up with your own you know, donut explosion here, and it is a blast to play. Bocha and I have enjoyed this quite a bit, and uh, gosh, I guess my only complaint is, where's the solo mode? This really feels like, I mean, because if it had a solo mode, I would just t throw it away, and I'd probably play it right now a little bit more, because just on its own merits, it's such a fun little puzzle to play out every single time in Dollars to Donuts. Hold the phone, folks, before we uh, say goodbye. I just heard from the publisher they are developing a solo mode right now. Uh, they sent me the rules and it sounds very solid. I can't wait to give it a go. So just wanted to uh, give you a last little update on the way out on the delicious Dollars to Donuts. Thanks very much for watching. Have a very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Uh, bye bye